In this video, I'm going to show you seven different types of ancient stone construction that'll leave you thinking, was somebody here before us? I'm also going to include some things that I found that'll make you say, So let's go. Seven different types of ancient stone construction. Seven different types of ancient stone construction. I've been living in Peru for over two years. I plan to travel to different sites around the world to find similarities or differences. And in Peru, this is what I found. I'm going to call this construction the Land of the Giants. So the oldest sites, as evident by the erosion, are those that were sculpted right into the bedrock. Unlike the other ancient sites where the rock was quarried and sculpted to fit deconstruction. Land of the Giants. You see the big steps? The huge steps there? See the people on top? And these steps go into a cave. So I'm, I'm in the land of the Inca. And um, I'm going to show you these steps. You see right over here? You can't really see how big they are until you get close to them. They're more like seats for me. They're more like seats. This is one step. Look at this step. It's up to my waist. That one is too. These are for giants. Um, and they're all over the place. Not only that, there's another one right there. And you see how eroded these are? This is old. Land of the Giants, we don't know how old it is because we can't date rock, but look at, I mean, see the erosion on this? There's another one right there. And that's not all, there's more right here. They're so big. These steps are so, are so big. They're, they're seats, they're seats for me. And that steps. And there's, there's more. The steps for the giants. Who made these? We'll never know, but it wasn't done by humans because uh, we would have made these steps a lot smaller, right? <laughs> more usable. These sites are scattered throughout the area. I'm going to take you into the temple of Los Monos, which is the monkeys. So it's over here. Um, you can see old Inca ruins here, but this is not Inca ruins. This is pre-Inca. You can see everything is made out of one, carved out of one rock. Look at this. Just squares cut out of, of, of solid rock. Like, like, like butter. They just took out a square. There was a civilization here long ago when this rock was not just carved out. See, look at this. How did they do this? Ah, I see a monkey. So, let's see if you can see it. There's a few of them here. Do you see it there? You see the tail here? You see the tail? Let me see, I got my glasses. You see the tail here, right? Tail. You see the leg? See the leg? And the back's open and it's been, of course, um, it's been um, eroded and, just, and uh, damaged from, again, some catastrophic event. This didn't look like this back in the early days. The tops are cut off. Something came and just just took everything off. You can see a lot of the rocks just thrown um, here and there. And again, you see the same thing in ancient Egypt, um, in the oldest structures. They're, they're left in ruins. But you can see the monkey. You can see the clear, clearly you see it here. There's one on the other side too. See here? And then you see the tail. And the tail wraps around. It goes, see, see, you see, can you see it? There's the tail. Pretty good, you can kind of see it, you can see it pretty good, right? And you see the tail going around here? Goes to right here. And uh, now we don't know what culture with this was, but it definitely was a culture that can mold rock. You see this right here? Here, there's some, here's a there's something, I don't know what went here. There might, might have been a tail for something. We don't know, but um, look at these, look at, look at these, um, look at this. They were able to take this rock and just mold it like this. You see it? And we also have another monkey right there. You can see the paw, two paws, right? And the body, the body here. 
and the tail goes right down. The tail goes right down here, right here. So we have, this is a old, old sculpture. You can see how eroded it is. It's, 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 uh, it's, the whole rock is eroded and damaged, and damaged. Um, but you can clearly see that this used to be a monkey. We don't know what this is. This could have been water coming down here. Uh, we don't know. And then we have another monkey over here on this side. Let's see if I can find anything else here. Um, there's a, there's a, uh, a puma down there. I don't know if you can make it out. Um, it's a, the tail's here. Let me see if you could, you could you see it better. Then it's damaged, extensively damaged. But can you see the head? Can you see the head, the ears right here? The ears and the head and the body and the tail that goes around. So we don't know what society made this. But again, that society that did do this was long, long ago. Behind Saxe Woman is a huge rock that has been sculpted on its entire surface. These sculptures are huge, as you can see. Three seat-like structures are predominant on most of these megalithic rocks throughout Peru. Not far from these areas is a hidden cave that is off the beaten path. You have to know where it is. The cave is through these arches, and I'm going to show you what lies inside. First of all, there's these steps, um, these carved steps, ancient steps that we don't, we don't know why they're here. Look at, look at this right here. Look, look at, look at this ledge, these ledges right here. Those are all carved. This, look. And then right there is the step. So um, we're gonna go in. And down. Let's go. There we go. Ooh, it's cold in here. So this was carved out, you can tell. And if you had any doubts that this wasn't carved out, then look at this. And I think that'll that'll solve your doubts. You can see more more um sigh somewhere. These straight straight lines. Straight line right here. More, more cut marks. Here, let's see if we can get him closer. So there we are, you see them? There we go. You can see those marks. Straight, straight marks. Amazing. I'm just looking at everything. So this is an ancient cave. How, how did they carve these rocks? This is hard. Oh my god, look how look how shine can you see my reflection? <laughs> you see my reflection? Look, you can see me. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And it looks like there's some kind of paint right here paint underneath this rock. Looking for any writing, maybe. This is really strange. It's as if they had a saw that went Let's get a little closer. You actually see the saw marks. And now for that Oh my gosh! moment. Puma Punku and Tiwanaku Go back 15,000 years or more. When the Spaniards came, the Inca said that Pumapunku and Tiwanaku were ruins when they got here. Now, as you're walking through the site, you see this. What do you think this is? It's very straight here. And look at this. These holes are perfectly even along with this here. Who do you think made this? Comment below.
this is just one type of ancient stone construction. This is just part one, and there's many more to come. Thank you for watching, and follow my journey around the world. Be sure to subscribe.